There's no start screen or load menu. Are you surprised? I am a, I'm a little bit. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Super Paul Games. When you make a phone call, do you ask the other person to press start before speaking? What? I don't talk to people on the phone. Whoever told you I do things like that? When you text someone, do you first show them graphics and pretty pictures? Sometimes. Sometimes I just send them a picture. Please talk to me. This isn't a game, so there's no reason to have a start screen. I would rather call this my method of communication. Oh man, I love it when video games talk to me. Ha ha, hot demon lady. I'm sure this is gonna work. It's nice to meet you, Workwin7. Wait, that's not my... Is that the name of my computer? It's been so long since I set this up. It probably is. Was that your name? Since I'm a little far away. Sometimes... I guess it's the name of my work computer, because this is my work computer. Um, Sometimes it's... I don't want to hear more about your work computer, old man. But I love telling boring stories. It's all my Let's Plays, really. I mean, what? Sometimes it's hard for me to understand who I'm talking to at first. But right now, I'm talking to you, Workwin7, right? No. Then let's fix that. You can't sign a contract without your real name, after all. Oh, wait, that is my real name. I'll sign a contract. You want to give me monies? I like monies. What would I like to call you? Big Dongus. I myself go by many names. But you can call me Lilith. That seems like a perfectly fine name. I'm sure there's never been anybody bad with a name like Lilith. Through chain letters, strange emails, posters, and even paintings. I love paintings. I tried to paint once and everything became a brown blur. I, I've always appeared to people and given them a special offer. Oh man. Are you going to try and sell me like CDs? Pub or Publishers Clearinghouse crap? A lot of times they don't believe me, but sometimes they do. And for those people, I can change their lives. You're not going to fuck me for a movie part, am are you? In the butthole. What? No. Talking to me through this so-called game? I was wondering if you want to make a deal like that for yourself. Well, what do I get out of it? I'll be honest, I wasn't paying very good attention. A devil's bargain. Oh, that sounds great. Though I'm not asking you to accept it right away. Just asking you to listen. Oh, I'm very bad at that. I'm actually a really good listener. Um, just don't listen. She's a lady. Don't start listening to ladies. Once you start listening to ladies, they will talk your ear off. So I better pretend I don't care. I, I don't really... Wait, what would you say? So are you interested in what I have to say? No. Yes. That's great, Big Dongus. Oh, oh, you, you know me so well. I'll draw up a contract right now. You write up a contract, dummy. You don't draw one. Where are you, Big Dongus? Give me your soul, immortal soul. Hey, I'm using that soul, immortal soul. And I'll give you a... Uh, what, what will I get? Uh, 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 something. Uh, I'll definitely give you something. Uh, this, oh, this might be a problem. Normally, we have everyone's soul price here on file. Oh, does it mean my soul's uh, priceless? <laughs> definitely not. What? But it seems that your file was misplaced. I'm sorry, even though I've been doing this for many years, I'm just an imp. Oh, aren't we all at times? I have a bad habit of losing things. And sometimes I even go off script, not me. Every LP, every visual novel I've ever done, if you watch word for word, I never improv anything, Titty McGee. Let me explain. My job is to acquire cells for the afterlife. Typical demon bitch, always talking, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what happened at work. I'm a good listener. Every soul has its own value, a price that we're allowed to pay for it. Oh my god, I don't care. Is this like, are you trying to negotiate me down? I, I want the MRSP for my soul. What's the Kelly Blue Book value for a middle-aged, fat, bald guy with issues? It's got to be really high, right? It's got to be really high. What we can trade is always different. Sometimes we can give you diamonds and rubies. Oh, oh, oh! Other times we can give you a fried fish. I did have a fish sandwich today. I didn't have to give up my soul for it, but I am not saying no yet to that offer. So you see whether I can give you worthless stones or a delicious snack. Honey, you're the delicious snack. It's usually decided by the head office. Is that where we get head? You're disgusting. I know. 
But if I can't find that file, how can I make you an offer in the first place? I don't know, lady. This has got really complicated, man. Just take my soul already. Oh, wait. I'm not doing a good job negotiating. I need more than nothing. Please. Is it under the desk? My dick is. Ah, don't, don't call HR on me. Under my chair? What? Stuck in my clothes somewhere? I'm not sure if you... You're, I'm supposed to touch you? Or you're trying to get me for sexual harassment? You imps are tricky like that. Let's check these papers one more time. Uh, it's hopeless. <laughs> ah! That wasn't loud in my... It probably wasn't loud for you. That was loud for me. And I'm very manly, so I wasn't scared. Now this is interesting. I think I can still gather enough information to offer you a deal. I do like deals. Are you wearing a shirt under that? I probably shouldn't ask. That's not professional, is it? By conducting this test that I found, I can understand your soul value that way too. I'm not taking no test. This isn't school. Is this a personality test? I took one of those once and failed. I'll just ask you 20 questions. Same number as a child's game. And we can learn how much your soul is worth. Damn children and their complicated games. Who's answering? It's you, of course. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Is that one of the questions? Did I get the first one right? The you behind the screen, Big Dongus. Well, who else would it fucking be? I always talk to my computer monitor. Then, after taking the test, you can decide whether you want to sign your soul away. I, all right. Is that question number two? I'm acing this. I'm acing it. You're doing it, Paul. I mean, Big Dongus. Not rather, more or less, average Dongus. I mean, shall we begin? Yeah, let's do it, bitch. Let's start with the soul appraisal. It's worth a lot. Sure. Uh-huh. The first question. Remember, this affects the value of your soul. So, so let's be honest for posterity. Like in uh, The Princess Bride. I love that movie. Do you like that movie, Lilith? Are you more of a cat person or a dog person? I do love bitches by most of my dating life. <laughs> but I'm a cat person. I like the pussy. Wrong answer. What do you mean wrong answer? What do you mean wrong answer? Is this the right answer? Dogs are always, look at me, I need attention, take me out for a walk, oops, I pooped everywhere. That's my job. I don't need someone competing with me for that. I like cats because cats are just like, fuck you, bro, I do what I want. And I'm like, I respect that. You do your own thing, cat. I respect that. I can't respect somebody who wants my attention every five seconds. You sure talk a lot. To be honest, I'm more of a dog person myself. Yeah, it figures, figures, you know what I'm saying, y'all. Did you know a lot of people who like cats have attachment issues? I do not. Don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave me. I'll put up with anything. I'm just alone. I don't have attachment issues. You can go anytime. I don't, I don't even, I'm not even looking at you. Where'd you go? I might have object permanence issues. Well, let's set that aside for now. The next question. Would you rather eat burgers or ramen? Honey, <laughs> I'm going through a poor time right now. I eat a lot of ramen. I'm gonna say burgers. Where's the beef? It better be in my mouth. So you like burgers too? I do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wish your taste in pets was as good as your taste in food. Oh man, this is like my last date all over again. I never get to eat the pussy. Uh, <laughs> I just broke myself up on that. That was stupid. Isn't it fun to take a quiz like this? Yeah, it's alright. It's alright, girl. I know you're a human, and I'm a demon, but it's great to see what we both enjoy. Wait, you're just sizing me up to buy my soul. I, I Don't tell her, but my soul's pretty damaged. I'm trying to get full price for it, though. Are you ready for the next question? I think it's a fun one, too. All right. Does your life have any meaning? Uh, why did you pause there? I didn't have a chance to click on anything. I didn't pause at all. I didn't pause it all. You set me up. This bitch is psycho. That's my time. <laughs> I didn't pause it all, though. I literally didn't have a chance to hit anything. Cats or dogs, burgers or ramen, whether or not life has meaning. Haven't you already thought about these things? One of your scientists. This sounds like it's someone on Twitter. Scientists say things. Yeah, bullshit. Scientists always try to ruin fun. One of your scientists. Said people consider 35,000 things every single day. A woman might? I don't think guys do, though. I don't. I consider 
What am I gonna eat? Oh, I don't want to work. Titties. What's on Twitch? Titties. Probably ought to go to bed. Titties. Ooh, I want to watch Puri Puri. I guess, considering this question wasn't one of them. Girl, what are you talking about? What are you... Oh. But I don't mind if you take your time. I can wait for you. I think this girl's like fucking me over with the psychology shit. So, does your life have a meaning? Well, I mean, in what way? Like, I, I, I guess it has whatever meaning I ascribe to it, right? Uh, I don't know if it has some fundamental universal meaning. I Probably not. But, like, you know, I want someone to have fun, so I make a dumb video. So I find meaning in that. So it has a personal meaning. But any kind of extrinsic meaning or value? I don't know. I guess you'd have to ask other people. Where is there a maybe? I mean, I guess I'll say yes, perhaps. Or maybe no, uh, yes? Oh, that's a really funny expression you have on your face. That's my normal face. If these kinds of questions are hard for a human like you, honey, it's never, it's always hard. Then we can go back to cute pets. Yes, please. That is more my speed. Imagine that there's a box in front of you. This better not be that Schrodinger's cat shit. I remember in school when the teacher's like, the cat could be dead or alive, and stupid kids are like, hey! Your cat. I'm like, it's a thought problem. It's theoretical. It's not even about a cat, you fucking morons. Why are you so stupid? It's not funny. There is no cat. In that box, is there a dog or a cat? It's a cat. Meow, meow. Naya, Naya. Nyan cat? Okay, I put a cat in the box. <laughs> what about man in the box? Can we listen to Alice in Chains? Now, when we open that box... Is the cat in the box dead or alive? It's alive because... I, I Wait, are you a psycho bitch? Is it dead? It's alive. Of course, don't be dumb. So you're a cat half full person. Huh? How optimistic. Nobody ever accuses me of being optimistic. People are always like, you're so pessimistic, Paul. And I'm like, I'm a realist. Lilith, you're not leaving, are you? Come back. Well, she did. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. Now, I put you in the box. I am the man in the box. Do not shove my nose in shit. When I open the box, will you be alive or dead? Well, if someone's watching this Let's Play, then I'm alive. If not, then dead. Oh, I'm hoping for alive. Somehow, I'm not surprised. You did it again, Big Dongus. You managed to live. But the most important question is... If I open you up on the inside, are you feeling dead or alive? Uh, uh, I'm feeling a little gassy. I probably should have took a shit before this. Oh, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of dead. It's been a rough lifetime. <laughs> Ow, I hurt myself laughing. Ow. Now a trolley. Wait, why are you changing? What, what, bitch? Why are you changing? Why are you changing the subject? She's like, how do you feel inside? If you go to a therapist and you're like, I feel really down and dead inside. And the therapist's like, let's talk about Mr. Rogers and trolleys. I'd be like, okay, I like Mr. Rogers and trolleys. But why are you changing the subject? Now, a trolley is driving down some train tracks. If the trolley goes on, the, on then it will run over five people. What kind of horrible trolley is this? Have you ever seen a trolley? Like, in New Orleans, they got a trolley that runs through parts of the city. Trolleys don't go fast. Like, it would be pretty easy to run ahead of the trolley, get the people picked up, and everyone's fine. Have you even seen a trolley? The people who made the meme. However, you can flick a lever and it will run over one person instead. Whether you pull the lever or you don't pull the lever, do you look away from the tracks? Um, I'm going to look and try and help the people. Or I'm just going to be like, hey, dumbasses, get off. I'll probably just be like, hey, dumbasses, uh, get off the track. I really don't want to move. I'm fat and lazy. God bless. Now look at me. Look at me. I'm going to look at her. Have you been putting a lot of thought into these questions? Um, obviously I have by my ridiculously long self-internal monologue. Don't bother answering. I already know. How oh, Seven minutes? That's longer than average. Oh, it's the first time anyone's ever said that about Big Dongus. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that on my resume. I'm going to print that out. I should print screen that out. And next time I go on a date, be like, I know we're going to talk and shit on this date, but just read this. This is all you need to see. Did you tab out and leave me here all alone? No, I've been here the whole time. Or are you just thinking that carefully? Regardless, 
That's all the questions from for me. Oh yeah, aced it. We just finished the appraisal's first half. How are you feeling? With my fingers. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a joke. It's a joke. I have some feedback from other takers. Let's see. Mr. Fine, Obscura, not enough cats. Okay, okay. We did fix that last part about the cats. Hmm. What do people have to say about Form B, the next selection? How would I fucking know? Straightforward, simple, not enough cats. That's talking about me, because I don't have a cat. I mean, uh, what? What's with these last suggestions? Ugh. Ah, it's a kitty cat. Can I pet it? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back, because I clicked the button to try and pet the cat. <laughs> we, can't, we can't just put cats in this game, because people like them. That's not how it works. I think that's exactly how it should work. Meow, meow, kitty. I love you. Setting that aside, Bing Dongus, our time is coming to a close. Oh man, I was just starting to... Do you wear shoulder pads there? Or do you have, like, really level shoulders? Let's finish the appraisal with these last ten questions. Ready to continue? Yeah, I'm ready, Freddy. Great, Bing Dongus, and let's start with question eleven. Do you live alone? Uh, 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 no! Do you want to live alone? Uh, no, I need people around me. It's good to have company. Do you have a partner right now? No. Then want to be with me? Wait, was this all to get a date? Just kidding. Oh, I missed my opportunity. I missed my opportunity. I finally wasn't going to be lonely. Still, Big Dongus, I have to apologize, but not for the reason you might think. Because <laughs> you led me on. I asked some questions there that weren't on the form just then. Oh, she wants to know about my personal life. It's not that I'm interested in your relationship or anything like that. I was just teasing you. Tease my Dongus? If you look at my game page, there's at least three downloads. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not lonely at all. Let's just get back on track. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do first? I wake up. Duh. I bet I can guess. Do you look at your phone? No, I don't. My phone's on the opposite side of the room. I'm really, I'm sure you want to know about this, Lilith. I, I, I don't like people who are too addicted to their phones all the time. And so unless I'm out and about, my phone is never near me. It's always somewhere else in the room that's not near me. No, the first thing I do when I get up is fart. That's way better. Uh, then I hope you eat a good breakfast at least. No, I normally don't actually eat breakfast. Then do you ever scroll on your phone without thinking? No, I, I only ever use my phone for texting or banking. So, <laughs> or phone calls occasionally. Then are you giving me your full attention right now? Yeah. Good, I'm pleased. It's very important when you're on a date or you're spending time with a person to make sure that you spend some focus on them to show that they matter to you so many people are like what am i missing what am i missing and you're missing out on the moment the more you learn i know focusing can be hard so let me help you whoa how's this well it's fine you look bigger baby that's what ladies like to hear right big baby <laughs> i love you big baby <laughs> to the moon we have to make the most of our remaining time together are you and me Oh, she's breaking up with me. Is that a chalkboard behind you? Can I write things on it? Now, for the last few questions. Do you have any dreams? Sometimes. Sometimes I dream about stuff. Are you pursuing those dreams? Oh, you mean real life stuff? Yeah. I mean, I I, I, I do comedy shit. <laughs> it doesn't sound like I take a poop and laugh. Ah, so funny, Paul. You got it today. You got it. Though I do talk out of my ass a lot. I still make stupid Let's Plays that I have fun with. I wrote three comedic novels last year. Um, and then I make D&D modules. So yeah, I'm pursuing some of the dreams I have. Unless it's touching titties. That dream is sadly unfulfilled. So yes. How cheery you are. Oh, thank you. It is nice to have support. Do you believe you have a soul? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Hmm, that's what I'm here for. Do you believe you own your own soul? Uh, yeah, I'm single, so nobody else owns my ass. Do you believe you own your own time? Yeah, because I work for myself, bitch. I'm my own boss. 
Except for, the government does tax me. So the government does own a piece of my time, but mostly I own my own time. This last question is a little hard to ask. Oh, a little hard. That's what they... Oh, no. Hmm. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Well, it's kind of in it. A mint chocolate chip is actually my favorite. Uh, so I just see mint. But if you had chocolate chips, mint chocolate chip. Good choice. Oh, Lilith. We get a lot. Lo how much do you want for my soul? Wait, I mean, how much are you willing to pay? If you chose vanilla, then it means your soulmate would be worthless. Some people like it vanilla. I mean, it's okay. Like what you like. The only people who enjoy vanilla are people without taste buds. What about French people and French vanilla? I'm sure that's why it's called French vanilla. Just like French bread and French fries. Even though I think French fries were created in New York. And that's question 20. You see, that was quick, fun, and painless. Just like a test on Fuzzbead or Basebook. Be Basebook. I love Basebook. It's all ads. Remember when Basebook was something where you could see in chronological, reverse chronological order what your friends put? And now it's just ads all the time. And it makes me so much happier. Remember when YouTube would show you what you subscribe to? Don't you hate that? Don't you hate seeing the thing you want to see? I'd much rather see what Jimmy Kimmel is doing in his lame late night segments. <laughs> Not bitter! I'm obliged to say that we're also using these results for targeted ads. Oh my god! Are you the new CEO of YouTube? After Susan got fired? But only in the fourth circle of hell, which is also known as YouTube, where we hold social media devs and marketing executives. I knew it! Lilith, I'm starting to like you and your social commentary. Now, one minute, processing your results. Uh, one, two, three, three dollars? Am I gonna get three dollars for my soul? I do like money. Done. This certifies your soul is worth no less than a truck. Like a Mack truck? As a result of taking the soul appraisal. Hey, it means that that's worth a lot, right? Louis Cipher signed off of this. Lilith, okay. Um, like, a Tesla truck? Like, uh, what kind of truck? Yay! Oh, you're adorable in chibi form. Congratulations, your soul is worth $18,827. Sold! I mean, wait, what? With that kind of money, I could get you a truck. Why would I buy a truck? I don't like going places. If you hit the print screen key on your keyboard, you can take a screenshot of this image. And you can probably show your friends your soul is worth a truck. Okay, I'm going to hit it. I just did. Isn't that amazing? Well, I got that working for me now. Well, everybody, my soul is worth a truck. What is your soul worth? If you want to know, um, there should be a link for the game in the description, if I remember. But even though that test was fun, that wasn't the reason we're talking right now. Am I not getting my 8000 something $27? Before we part ways, this is my real offer to you, Bing uh, Dongus. For something worth $18,827, will you give me your soul? Explain. Your soul is expressed to be worth that amount. I probably won't give you the money itself, but... I'll give you something worth the same amount. What is worth the same amount? Is $8,827. It might be an opportunity, a bond, or even an inspiration. James Bond? Wait, what do you mean an opportunity? Is this going to be for exposure? I, if I'm going to sell my soul, like, you ought to give me some money, girl. As for what it means for me to have your soul, maybe sometime later I'll ask for a favor. That's all. Hmm. So, for something worth 8827 will you give me my your soul? No, I'm using it. I'm totally ruining my own life, but it's mine to ruin. Was my offer too low? Yeah, how about you make it more and add a fish sandwich? Guess this test was kind of worthless then. Although I don't know what I was hoping for. Believe it or not, after all I've said, I've never had someone go through with giving me their soul before. Maybe it's because with all the inflation, you know, you really need to pay more. I mean, maybe in hell you don't have to deal with the kind of inflation we do here, but the economy's kind of hell here too, so. I'm a weak demon, you see an imp. No, you're preying on my, my, 
My, uh, my gullibility and my guilt. That's my one weakness, fat and bullets. There are other stronger demons, I guess. If someone signs a contract with them instead, even if I wasn't the first, or if I was the first, those demons would be the ones to own their soul because their power is both... No, you're very powerful. You did a very good job. Uh, feel good about yourself. Uh, when I follow the script, some people sign, but they all fail. Fall to others in the end. You, on the other hand, never signed at all. Was it something I said? No, it's just I kind of like my soul, I guess. And, and you didn't really offer me money. You said I might owe you a favor. What? <laughs> well, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Now that this has all been settled, I guess this is finally goodbye. No, don't ever leave. I don't have attachment issues. <sighs> 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 Stupid. When I say I guess this is goodbye, that means you're supposed to close the game. I can't quit you, Imp. I can't quit you, Lilith. Unless you still want to spend time with me. Well, yeah, I got some time. It's like, what, fucking 1 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I like hanging out with you. Oh, that was the wrong thing to say. Stupid things to say, Big Dong. It's a stupid thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not pooping yourself, are you? <laughs> Why? Why are you still here? Could it be because of those extra questions? Which extra questions? Uh, the, uh <laughs> I'm really not that lonely. That's what I mean. Me, me, yeah, I'm not. I'm not lonely at all either. You know, we could just not be lonely together. I don't care that you're looking after me right now. I'm not trying to take care of you. I don't have a weakness where I try and take care of you people. Do you need anything? It's all about your needs, princess. Please. If you stay here like this, then I... I... I won't be able to. Before you go, I should make a confession. Oh, please do. About the soul appraisal. Please tell me I have a soul. <laughs> Souls really have all the same value. What? But I... When I took that screenshot, I told my mom that her soul was worthless and mine was better, and then I kicked her in the face. I lied. I threw sand at her. I want to kick her. I love my mom. When it comes to the contract, we just give an offer that we think might you might accept. That's all. What? Ooh, the real secrets of buying a soul. The test is just supposed to help us guess what you might agree to. So in a way, you could say that I'm running a scam. What? A demon running a scam? Whoa. Maybe I don't belong here as a demon after all, because at the very end, I, I couldn't keep up the lie. You believe you should be selling used cars, lady. Not, I couldn't lie to someone like you. Okay, maybe you are selling used cars. But there's a lot more demons out there in the world that might try to make you believe something different. That your soul has a value of this or that, and you should give it to them for whatever it is they might promise. Maybe they'll even tell you that it's worthless and act like they're doing you favors. Mm -hmm. That you should be grateful for scraps. And I don't want you to give your soul to someone like that. Oh, she cares about me. You can have my soul. I don't want to be the one to have it. Oh, fuck. Seriously? Seriously? I finally give in and I get rejected? I'm gonna go cry. At least I can enjoy my salty tears. That's why I'm being honest with you now. Or if I don't get your soul, then I don't want anyone else to have it either. Yes, unhealthy toxic jealousy. That's how I know I'm loved. Selfish, jealous, disorganized, overly talkative. I'm kind of a mess of a demon, aren't I? Hey, girl, it's all good. But promise me that you won't let anyone else tell you what your soul is worth. I can't control what other people say. And if you don't give it to me, then at least you'll keep it for yourself. Of course, I never give it up to anyone else unless they had titties. Your wishes, your desires, don't give them up. Please. I promise nothing. I'm my own. Okay. I'll hold you to this promise. Oh, you're going to hold me? Finally, the touch of a creature. Big Dongus, I don't think we'll see each other again. Oh, man. When I said I was a weak demon, 
That part, at least, wasn't a lie. As the years have passed and people have stopped believing in things like me, it's become harder for me to show myself to even like, to you even like this. Man, demons have it so hard nowadays. With how shitty humans are online, just like demons can't compete with that. <laughs> when a demon loses its power, we go to a place called Myth. Myth? No, Myth. Myth, that boring game? No, Myth was great, but Myth. You can say that even though this is a real real right now, in the end this experience will turn into a game, whether it has a start screen or not. But if that happens to me, with the memory of that promise you made or failed to make, I'll still be alive. Oh, that that's that's good. Even if I can't show myself to you, I'll still be watching over you in my own way. So if I'm taking a shit, you'll be like, yes, poop some more for me. If I'm whacking it, oh, whack the wiener there, Dongus. It wasn't big at all. Wait, who said that? I'll remember these questions and the time we spent together, even if you forget them. Thank you, big Dongus. No problem, Lilith. I'll never forget you and whatever we did here. And farewell. I'll try. Oh, about girl? G g g girl girl the game crashed the game just rejected me wah wah wah